Hi everybody, this is Raw Matt. Uh, today we're going to be covering uh, abs, abdominals. This is your core strength. Nothing is more important than all of your exercises than just ab uh, your abdominals. Now most people would want a six pack anyway, so you're probably going to click on it just for that. Uh, if you want to narrow your waist out, we're going to be going over some oblique exercises. That's the way to really narrow your um, your shape into like that V shape. That's really going to be your most powerful one. I know people that do sit-ups all day long and don't have like that shape. That's the key is uh, you're doing your obliques. Now, because I'm using it for strength base, uh, I really want to focus on uh, all parts of the abs, everything. Uh, you want to change your workout constantly for abs. And you don't want to be doing thousands and thousands of sit-ups. It's like every other muscle group. Why would I go to the gym and curl 1,000 times? It doesn't make sense to do a thousand different sit-ups. So what I'm going to be doing is showing you different uh, uh, techniques and different uh, styles of doing your abdominals, and you could change them. You can do two Monday, and then Wednesday comes along. Do two different varieties. Do have your rest in between. Just treat it like you would a normal workout session. Have your sets, have your reps, and have your rest time. So uh, what we're going to be going over first is everything is going to be on the floor. I have no machines. I don't use bands. I don't use weights. I don't use anything for these. Uh, everything that you, you'll have is, you can go outside and do them on your lawn if you don't have a mat. Who cares? So, uh, this is going to be probably, uh, I'll start with things that involve holding your head up. I know a lot of people have neck problems and they say, oh, I don't like to do my, my workouts. They, they hurt my neck. I, my neck gets sore. So until that builds up resistance, until you get used to it, we'll, uh, we'll do, do some ones that involve holding your head. One of my favorite are uh, bicycles. What you do is when you're on the ground, you have your hands locked, interlocked behind your head. Uh, your legs are going to move in a bicycle motion. Once you get used to this, your elbow is going to be touching your knee as you come across. So it looks like this. Now these seem quite easy in the beginning, but they can fatigue you fast depending on your speed and depending on if you're doing them right. Uh, this is more in slow motion, what it should look like. And again, you don't have to start this way. You can just put your head down and focus on moving your legs until you get the motion down. Uh, because a lot of you out there will be doing it all crazy in the beginning. So <laughs> there's that. That seems to hit pretty much lower and upper abs. It's just, it hits everything. So it's a great exercise for that. Another one that I really like is sitting up straight with your hands behind you. You should leverage yourself so your feet are off the floor and you can just kick them out, keeping your toes curled up. And every time you get to the strenuous part of the exercise, breathe out and then breathe in. You can actually count because counting helps you uh, to breathe naturally. So just count them. One, two, three, four. And I do about tw uh, 15 and uh, two days from then, if you want to do the same exercise, go up to 25 and then 35. Go up 10 a week consecutively until you reach a good standpoint of about 75 and just don't go above that or change your exercise. Another one uh, for the obliques, another important one if you really want to narrow your waist out is when you're on your side, this foot comes in front of the knee, hands behind the head, and you are going to stay on your side, don't face the ceiling, and try to get your shoulder up and this one off the mat as possible. Your whole body might lift while trying to do this, but that's fine. Some of you will only get to about 15 on your first try of these, but that's fine. This really helps for getting punched in the ribs for it <laughs> and narrowing out your midsection. So both are, both are important. So another good one is on your back, your foot comes up and you rest your ankle on your knee. You take your far elbow, put your hand behind your head, and you put your elbow to the knee. These work the obliques the same way as the other ones. And then afterwards, you switch to alternate sides. So there's these. One of my other favorite ones for lower abs are your hands go underneath your tailbone area, your feet go straight up, your knees lock, and you lift your hips. Now you can do these fast. I like to do those fast. Or you can lift your hips all the way up. And that is pretty much good enough for right now. That'll get you a lot of 
uh, that'll just get you ripped on its own. <laughs> so if you want any, if you have any questions, feel free to ask, or we can go through a whole nother rundown if you like these apps. So enjoy.